Now let us do question number 8. Let's read through the question. XYZ has taken a 6 months loan from its collaborator for USD 2 million. So, I'll write down point number A. Loan amount is 2 million dollar. Alright. From its collaborator. And the interest is payable at how much? LIBOR plus 1 percentage. Duration will turn out to be how much? 6 months. Alright. And they have told the interest will be LIBOR plus 1 percentage. Alright. Now they have given the spot rate. Let's write it down. That is 68.5275 rupees per dollar. Other one is 6 months forward rate. 68.4575 rupees per dollar. Okay. Six months LIBOR for USD is how much? Two percentage. So I'll write down USD LIBOR. How much percentage? Two percentage. What else have they given over there? INR LIBOR. That is going to be how much? Six percentage. Okay, now they are asking, calculate the rupee requirement if the forward cover is taken. Advise the company on its forward cover. So they are saying whether they should take forward cover, yes or no. Right now, whatever loan they have, they can continue in USD and repay after 6 months. Or option 2, they can repay the loan now and take another loan in the Indian base. I will show you this one by one. This was the basic data. Now I'll write down working note number two, analysis of <coughs> taking rupee loan today, of taking rupee loan today. So here what I will do is I'll draw a table, point number A, dollar loan. How much is the dollar loan? They have 2 million. So can I say it is 20 lakh dollar? Am I right? Now, on this you will be, I will be converting it today. So what is the spot rate that I have over here? Is it 68.5275? Fine. So tell me how much will be my rupee loan if I convert? One thousand three seventy point five five lakh rupees. On this, how much will be the interest that will come? It is 6% plus 1, LIBOR plus 1, right? Interest payable on maturity is going to be LIBOR plus 1%. So that will be 7. So C into 7% into 6 by 12 because the duration is only 6 months. Now, once I do this, what is the closing amount that is payable by me? Do I get the answer as 1418.52 lakh rupees? Can you write down this in your books now? All right, friends. I believe you are done with this part. Let me go to the second one. Now we will write down the next working note. Analysis of sticking to dollar loan. Point number A. So here point number A will be my dollar loan. How much is my dollar loan? 
okay what about the interest on this 20 lakh into i think how much percentage have they told 2 plus 1 will be 3 percent into 6 by 12 Do you get the answer as $30,000? So now tell me what is your closing amount payable? 20 lakh, $30,000. What is the forward rate available with me now? How much is going to be my forward rate? 68.4575. So now tell me what is going to be my loan payable? 20.30 into 68.4575. Do you get the answer as 1389.68 lakh rupees? Correct. So here I was paying 1418. Here I am paying 1389. Everyone interact with me. Which is better? This answer is better. Can you just write down this now? Friends, your textbook has done it in a different form and they have used the IRPT equation. But this one is a very, very logical way of doing it. Yes, tell me. I, I also was supposed to ask that theorem, sir. Okay, okay. See, ultimately what they are doing is they are just using IRPT. That you have the spot rate, you have the forward rate. Correct. And you have both the interest rates are also available there. Am I right? So they are using the other equation of arbitrage using IRPT. But logically, whether you do that or you do this, you get the same answer. This way, it's very simple. You get in India, how much you have to pay? How much you have to pay in dollar? And you get the answer. Conceptually, both are exactly the same. I believe you're all done. All right, so we are done with what is the question number we are talking about? We are done with question number eight also.